We're on a mission from God. Thanks, Big Ed, for the t-shirt. Wonderful. Anyway, good morning, beautiful people. Um, the law is good. Let's talk about that. Yeah, good morning, beautiful people. I just said that, didn't I? So, today is Monday, uh, day 2047 of Five Minutes with Frankie. Thanks for joining us. If you've been here since the beginning, thank you. If not, today is your day. <laughs> so, the law. I fought the law and the law. Okay. So, the law is good. It's the people who don't obey the law or the people who think the law is bad because they got caught. The law is actually good because not only it reflects how sinful we are or how wrong we are, but it also is good because it tells us that there is order. And people crave order. I mean, if you think about it, we always want to go outside the boundaries of things, but you really, we really crave order. We really crave law and order. <laughs> Good show. Because if we don't have law and order, we have anarchy, and anarchy is crazy. There is no law, there is no way to function in society. And so the law is good. It's those who don't obey the law, which makes it bad in their life, not necessarily that the law is bad. And so we see this in the Old Testament. We see that in America. We see that in other countries. That the law gives boundaries. Just like if you're riding in a car and you're riding down the road, you're not going over the yellow line or the white line uh, haphazardly or without caution. Because the law is there with the two boundaries, you know. I mean, we have freedom of choice to go over the line, but, you know, that's up to you. you you're going to get hurt. And so the law tells you, hey, if you do this, you're going to get hurt. If you do this, this is better. So don't do this and do this. But could we really keep the law? Could we really keep it 100%? No, we couldn't. Because the law magnifies how wrong we are, how desperate we need a savior, how desperate we need somebody to fill the law so we're not under the law, we're under grace. And so Jesus fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the 638 different laws. He fulfilled the Old Testament. He didn't do away with it, he fulfilled it. And so the only way to fulfill the law is to be with Jesus. And in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8, it says this, Now we know that the law is good if one uses it lawfully. If we use the law on what it was intended for, to magnify our sins and magnify that we need a Savior, and that it is good because it came from a holy God, that he knew what was right and wrong, and he knew what the people couldn't eat and could eat because of diseases. The law is good if we have kept the law. But we could not keep the law, so Jesus had to come to fulfill the law so we would be holy and righteous in God's sight with the Holy Spirit. So it, it's very simple. Human could not keep law. Jesus came, fulfilled law. We need Jesus to get to God in the Holy Spirit. They're pretty much the whole Bible. But nowhere in the Bible would you find that the law is bad. Because the law helped us to get to Jesus. It helped us understand we need a Savior. We are desperate. We are lost. We are broken without Jesus. We could not keep the law. So the law is good. 
And so, in Timothy, 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy, we have this encouragement to Timothy of what leaders should be doing in the church. What good servant leadership looks like. And the first thing is to acknowledge that we need Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he is the one who gives us the boundaries. Because we love him, we're going to keep those commandments because Jesus is the way. So I encourage you today, look towards Jesus. The law is good, but the law should point us to a Savior who fulfilled them. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Monday and a great week. All right. Love you. Bye. How long was that one? Your mother. <laughs>